Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas football here at Forrester Field in Dallas here with the head coach of the Woodrow Wilson Wildcats, Coach Tony Benedetto, after a, a big 48-7 win over Brian Adams. A very convincing win. Coach, first off, congratulations on the big win. Yes, thank you. They're a very, very good team, and uh, our kids were prepared and played well. You know, we talked pregame, and we, we I, I thought this was going to be, you know, this was going to be a really tough game, and you guys were preparing for a tough game. I thought your defense set the tone early, just consistently getting three and outs. I thought your defensive line, we talked about it, I thought your defensive line was kind of a strength of your team. And I thought your defensive line gave their offense a lot of trouble uh, throughout the game and kind of set the tone. What, what makes your defensive line kind of the catalyst of your defense? Yeah, uh, the, Their age, their hunger, um, 42, 33 are both seniors. Um, then we played two junior tackles, and all of them have started on varsity for at least two years. And so now at this point of their careers, high school football is getting a little easy to them and they're playing their butts off. But they don't, if you watch our defensive line, they play with their hands. They're not looking in the backfield. They're, we have a great defensive line coach, Coach Matthew Clay, and uh, they play discipline and they do their job. And that's what a defensive line is supposed to do. So very proud of the way that they've progressed throughout the last three years. And, and that makes your back seven play they don't have to you know when, when you when, you're, when your defensive line is controlling things your back seven I mean, you can probably take a few more chances with your secondary and linebackers you can do some different things d different things in the back side of your defense because your defensive line is able to set the tone and it probably lets those guys play a lot a lot looser doesn't it yeah yes our defensive coordinator mike freeman when i hired him over here he was able uh he's able to put together a great scheme knowing that we have a good d line that's our best coverage and uh and so that's that's kind of our strategy every single week Offensively, you know, I mean, looking at the stats, it doesn't seem like one particular guy stood out. It was it was really a, a true team effort. Um, I thought your quarterback distributed the ball to your playmakers really well, and and, and I think your offense gives defensive trouble defenses trouble because they can't just prepare to take away one guy because if they take away one guy, it seems like you got a lot of other playmakers to step up. And where does offense start? Your offensive line, and we've and we've got five hardworking great athletes playing offensive line. They're not, we're not overweight kids playing all line. It's not offensive line. Got a few flat bellies. Yeah. Ath athletic kids in the offensive line, right? Yes, and David Jokler, offensive coordinator, he does an amazing job. He came over from DeSoto, and he's got that offensive line playing really well. And we're starting a sophomore quarterback for the third year in a row, and he, we're getting great quarterback play out of him. And we're able to get the ball to our playmakers with, with the great offensive line. So. You know, I know you know you haven't had a chance to break down the film yet, and you're gonna, you know, there's probably some things you want to correct and those kind of things. There's never a perfect game. That's the, that's always the goal, but it's pretty much impossible to achieve. But there's always things you want to improve on. When you're looking ahead to the rest of your, you know, the, the season's starting to wind down, and you're trying to trying to peak at the right time, and you got a big game uh, coming up here soon against the, the defending district champion in Lancaster. Looking at your team on paper, what do you think you guys need to continue to work on and improve on if you want to take that next step and knock off the defending district champs, Lancaster? Well. When you got, you're dealing with 15, 16, 17-year-olds, uh, how do you keep them hungry? How do you keep them focused? Um, those, the kids stop, stop reading Twitter and doing all those kind of things. Reading guys like me online? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they look good tonight, and then they all feel good about themselves. So uh, just continue a high level of intensity in practice and uh, making sure our kids got their eyes right and we're playing disciplined football, and we'll continue to peak. I, uh, uh, we just need to continue to get better. We can't feel like this is enough. Do you balance, you know, you want to have intense practices, but later in the year, do you balance that out with trying to keep your guys fresh, keeping them healthy? You want to get them to the, you want to get them healthy to the game on Friday night, or Thursday or Friday night. Do you, do you kind of adjust your practice routine just a little bit later in the year? Because these guys have been playing six, seven, eight games now. You want to keep those bumps and bruises to a minimum, right? Yeah, I've been told by a couple of mentors, if, if you have a good team with good senior leadership, make sure they know their uh, assignments during the week. And you don't have to just grind and grind practices out. And so once we have identified that we've got good senior leaders that play hard, and um, we were able to kind of cut back practice a little bit because we know that our kids are in shape and we're able to play. Yes, sir. All right. Final question for you: What's 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 your post game meal of choice after a win? Is what what are you going to go with post game? Because that was a big win, big, important win for you guys. Okay, I've got four kids under six, so there's probably leftover like mini corn dogs at the house or leftover chicken nuggets. And my wife is amazing. She watches them all night long. So I'm going to go home and whatever they didn't eat, I'll eat it, and then I'll do the dishes. There you so. go. You're a smart, smart man. Happy wife, happy life, right? Yes, yes, yes sir. Go. Coach, congratulations on the win. you got a heck of a ball club. Good luck the rest of the season. Hopefully we'll see you come playoff time. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out TexasFootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.